Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a point of view camera in Daz Studio. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Daz Studio. Uh, what you'll see are two characters. They're really just duplicates of each other. I have one wearing a red bodysuit and the other one wearing a green bodysuit, just so you can distinguish between the two. And what I've done here is you'll notice that there's this camera icon uh, kind of within the head of the character wearing the red suit. So what I did was I created a character, cre didn't create a character, I created a, a camera and I parented that camera to the, well positioned it first and then parented it to the right eye of this character. And this camera is going to become uh, a point of view uh, camera. So just to give you an example here, I'll just select the character in the red and I will position her. Let's rotate, I believe, along the, yeah, rotate Y. So I'll just have her looking at the green character. And then right now I'm in perspective view. I'm going to change this to camera red. That's the camera that I created. And you'll see now it's her point of view. So however I move um, this camera, I move this character, will determine what is seen in the viewport. So that's kind of cool. So that, that's what I did. Now what I will do is the same process, but instead I will attach the camera to the character wearing the green. So let me just put her back to where she was. Uh, move that to zero. And move this to zero. Cool. Okay, now first things first, let's create a camera. My camera tab I happen to have over here on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to go to this drop down under the editor. Make sure you're under the editor and click the caret, add a camera. So this one I will call, well, the create new camera dialog box appears and I call this camera dash green, not greed green. There we go. And hit accept. Cool. So now if I come over here, I can confirm that camera green is in there. And right now camera green is just looking at whatever it's looking at by default. So let's go back to perspective view. And I'm going to zoom out of the scene here. Then I'm going to go to my scene tab. And what I want to do next is position this camera on the right eye of the green character. There's a few ways that you can do this, but I'll, I'll show you the way that, that I like. First, I select camera green in the scene tab. All right, so I've selected it there. And then from perspective view, I'm gonna change this to, let's try top view. And I just want to get an idea of where the camera has been placed by default in relation to the green character. So I'll just close the scene tab. I'll come over to my parameters tab, which I happen to have on the left side. And then I'm going to start to position it. So let's do, um, uh, X translate and then Z we'll get it close there. And then I'm going to rotate it. So that's facing forwards and I'll make it a straight 180 degrees. So it's facing straight. Then I will go to the front view and let's move over here. Okay, so it's getting closer. Y translate, I'll move this down. And then forwards. And what I want is this point here to be right in the middle of the, the eye there. So I'll move it over a bit more. Okay, that, that's fine for now. I could fiddle with it some more, um, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Let me just go to the right view. I'll go to the scene tab just so I can hide my red figure. Make things a bit easier to see. 
Okay, so I still have some more things to do here. That's way in front. Camera green. And it's angled down. I don't want it angled down. Let's make this a straight zero. And I think that should be almost okay. Okay, I think that's all right for now. Let's go back to perspective view. I'll turn on my red figure. And let's try this out. So what I'm going to do is switch the camera to camera green. Sorry, I'm going to switch my view to camera green from the drop down. Okay, so far so good. Let's go back to perspective view. And now I'm going to, I should say green, not blue. Let's change that real quick. There we go. Now let's, uh, what was I going to do? Select the green character and I'm going to rotate her so that she's looking. Oh, whoops. I spoke too soon. Okay, this is where it can get kind of tricky. It's a good thing I missed that. So I've positioned the camera, but now I need to parent it to the right eye. If I don't parent it, then this process is not going to work. So let's go to the scene tab. I'm going to right click on the camera, camera green. And from the drop down menu that appears, I'm going to select change camera green parent. So I click that and I get this change parent dialog box. I'm going to scroll up by default. Mine always expands everything, which I don't mind. It just means I need to do a bit of scrolling. So figure two, I'm looking for the right eye. There it is. And accept. Cool. Now I can rotate my character and the camera will rotate along with her. Cool. So now the green character is looking at the red character and we'll see what that view looks like by switching to camera green. There we go. So this is a cool way to get some point of view, uh, to get some point of view action happening uh, with your dad's characters. And I guess this is a technique that would work well if you're doing animation, but it could even work well for um, comics too. And actually I'll, I'll pause the video and show you another example. I've created a practical, well, what I think is a practical example of how you could use a point of view camera in your dad's scenes. I've just whipped up a little uh, fight scene here. I didn't put too much into it. Okay, so I'm in perspective view, and what I will do is switch to the camera red. And then you kind of get a, a nice action shot of what the, the red character is seeing. So it, it's, it's a new way to compose your shots instead of doing it the, the regular way with a perspective view or just creating another outside camera that looks in on the whole scene. You can get that point of view from the perspective of your character and you don't have to do anything to position the camera. You just pose the camera however you want, pose the character however you want, and then you'll get the, the shot uh, from their perspective. So yeah, that's the, that's the tip. I uh, hope you find use for it in your artwork with Daz Studio. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can check out my webcomic and my graphic novel that I illustrated using Daz Studio in Photoshop. You can get a cool example of what's possible by checking that out. Again, that's blacksuncomics.com. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Please share it with your friends, family, and enemies. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.